What's up, my people? Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. So, as usual, we have some things I'm gonna share with you guys. So, as you check in, all my asks you for do, I just give me a thumbs up. Right? It's free, of course. So, I'm not going to hold you guys no longer. Let me get into the first thing, right? So, the first thing, my people. Popular minibus driver, SHOT, and him drop out in a Savannah Lamar, right? The Westmoreland police are probing the killing of a popular minibus operator who was GUN down while waiting for a passenger in the parish capital, Savannah Lamar. On Saturday morning, the deceased has been identified as 50-year-old Clive Atkinson, popular call Grabber, who was of a Savlamar address. Reports are that Atkinson stood beside his bus that was parked in Enden, Endan, Savlamar, when he was pounced upon by three men on motorbikes uh, who were armed with and GUNS. The bus driver was SHOT multiple times by the armed assailants. He was taken to the Savlamar Public General Hospital where he was pronounced. Atkins applied the Savlamar Westmoreland to Montego Bay St. James Road. On Thursday, 37 year old chef Glenroy McNaughton of Darlington, Westmoreland was SHOT and KILL in Savlamar by men traveling on a motorcycle. So people, may I wonder if them two things are connected. You see me? May I wonder if the two of them connected because at Thursday gone, a man get caught up and him drop out a chef by men on motorcycle and now this bus driver get caught up and drop out by men on motorcycle right so let me know what you guys think in the comment section man fatally shot by police in central village identify the man who was fatally shot in an alleged police confrontation on saturday in bigley in central village saint catherine has been identified. He is 20 year old laborer Shaquille Smith, otherwise called DJ of Board Jungle in Central Village. It is reported that about 10 20 pm, a police team was on patrol in Big Lane when, upon reaching the intersection of Tate Drive and Central Road in the community, Smith was seen and he reportedly ran. He was pursued by the police into a premises where allegedly where he allegedly point a gun at the cops the police said the cops took evasive action and smith was shot according to the police a ruga 9 mm pistol loaded with a magazine containing six rounds and another magazine containing 15 rounds were retrieved from him he later succumbed to his injuries at the Spanish Town Hospital. So, people, I am like starty, right? So, you have to bear your bones. You see me? In point a machine of fire police, them, no police, no one know if can in it. You see me, I say, no police, no one, no if can in it. So, from your point at them, them are going to send can at you. You see me? So, let me know what you guys think. We are going to move on. Trial begins for businessman Everton Beach Stout McDonald in M U R D E R of second wife. So, this man Beach Stout. Boy is a controversial figure, people. Them say him dash way for lack of better words. Him first wife and him come do the same to him second wife. Right? 
and I think them charge him for the first wife where him dash way, and them also charge him for the second wife. See, me I wonder if it's a insurance to somebody I put on him wife them. So him dash them way when him dash them when him get richer. Why people? So hear what them said. The child of Portland businessman Everton Beach is Stone McDonald in the M U R D E R of his second wife today got underwear in the home circuit court. A seven member jury consisting of six men and a woman was selected before presiding Judge Chester Stamp. The businessman and his co accused Oscar Barnes are being treated, are being tried, are being tried. For the July 20, 2020 MURDER of his wife Tonya McDonald. Her partially burnt body was found with the throat back and slumped beside her raised car along the Sherwood Forest Main Road in Portland. The lead prosecutor in her opening said, we are saying that the KILL Tonya without any legal excuse and we will bring witnesses here to tell you how it went. McDonald is being represented by attorney at law Earl Hamilton, Courtney Rowe, Christopher Towson and John Jacobs. Yo, four liar man having a people. Four. Four liar the man have. Ja, ja. So him decides him nah go to prison. Barnes, whose bail was this afternoon revoked, is being represented by attorney at law Ernest Davis. The trial, however, was just adjourned for lunch and will resume at 2 p.m. with the first witness who is already serving time in prison for K I L L I N G Tonya. Oh, so somebody turn witness man with the first witness who is already serving time in prison for the K I L L I N G of Tonya. So it look like say one of his accomplice I go testify against him. So he might go get lesser sentence. Chaja. Meanwhile, McDonald is also charged with the 2009 MURDER of his first wife Marlene or oh, see me telling no people so them charge him with the first wife dash way and them charge him with the second wife dash way for lack of better words people no disrespect when me say dash way you understand he is to be tried alone for that matter in January 2024. Investigators reopened that case in 2020 following the MURDER of Tonya. So, when the second wife get KILL, the people them in the community start talk because allegedly, him and a police planned the dashway of the first wife in you know, a people so the people them start talk and i think wanna somebody where did live with him me no remember how it go somebody is either one i'm cousin or somebody or the woman cousin the first woman we get dash way right end up get dash way also because him know what go on so this is a mix up and blender story where this man just a dash with him woman them look like him can't service them good people yes so me i say anymore and control them because i think the first wife did left him you know and move out of the house and somebody got the woman yard go k-i-l-l-r you understand then him come there with this second wife, you know. But people, it did think in the community, say, at a second wife, yeah, cause the first marriage we mash up, came did a date this girl, yeah, when he end up married and come dash way. See? So she end up get the wife position, cause she was the mate. She end up get the wife position. And the people, them I say, 
she did bad. You see me? I say different man a knock it while this a man a spend pan her hard. You see me? I say so. At the bone way, ma get him could take uh, in her life. You see me? To all of the man them out there. If you find see a woman about you, especially if you have your money, Bridget, find an ex woman, load that one day alone. Because this money have him money in a people. A fool liar, the man having a star. And people, he come like the fool in running at the family too, you know. Because him son right now have a case in America where him dash with him wife. So he come like say, the whole family of them love dash with woman. The son was a um, a soldier, I think. Yeah. So him son have a case in America where him dash with him wife and hide her body. You see what I say? So father, like father, like son, two of them forget to send with your own jet here. You see what I say? So I want to tell more on the thinking of the comment section, people. So we are going to move on. Rag face cut down by police in St. Catherine. A suspected contract K-I-L-L-E-R believed to be associated with the notorious one other gang was S-H-O-T and K-I-L-L during a confrontation with the police on Salpan Main Road in Wallaba, St. Catherine on Friday. He is Lushane Barnes, otherwise known as Ragface. Barnes was linked to a multiple um Barnes was linked to multiple M U R D E R S in and outside St. Catherine. Reports are that around 1.30 p.m. on Friday, lawmen assigned to specialized operation attempt to stop a heavily tinted grey Toyota Belta motor car on the Salpan Main Road. The vehicles the, the police say the driver of the vehicle opened fire at the lawmen and a GUN fight ensued. The driver reportedly fled the vehicle and continued to trade Khan with the police. He reportedly collapsed on an embankment after being SHOT multiple times. A point 45 American tactical Titan and GUN and two rounds of ammunition were reportedly taken from him. A woman was found in the vehicle suffering from Khan wound to the left shoulder. Police say a search of the vehicle uncovered 120 rounds of ammunition. Chaja. So this is a woman, yeah? Sir Puda call him cursing. You see me? So leave your comment, people, and let me know what you think. And let me get into this thing, you know, people, because it's when you got a foreigner or nothing not going for you. Why? You can't trust nobody, people. US born woman, M U R D E R E D, at home. Tia Tamara Ferran was counting down the days to reunite with her father in the United States of America. The 20 year old Charlie Mount High School past student also had plans of joining the US Army. Cha -cha. Unfortunately, Ferran's dream was shattered to pieces on Saturday night after a lone GUN man entered her dwelling in Bunbury, Linstead St. Catherine and SHOT her multiple times in her kitchen. She dropped out, she D-I-E-D, on the spot. According to police report, about 8.50 p.m., residents reported hearing explosions and contacted the Linstead police upon the lawman's <coughs> arrival. Ferran was found laying in a pool of BLOOD with what appeared to be Khan wounds to her upper body. She was taken to the Linstead hospital where she was pronounced. When our news team visited the community yesterday, small groups of persons were seen speaking about the horrific incident. Three of Ferran's relatives sat on the veranda but they were too distraught to speak with the press. Her grandfather emerged minutes later and his eyes were teary and swollen. 
Tia was a nice, jovial, and good little girl. She have manners and everybody in the community like her, he said. Ferran was, until recently, employed at a call center but gave up the job as she prepared herself to migrate. She did a plan to join the army, her grandfather said. He said that prior to her D E A T H, she was her usually bubble self and had everyone laughing as she played a game of water war with the children in the household. She a laugh and she even play. She a laugh and she even play a game of water war in the yard. One of the times she sit in one of the car and she was just happy. We drive go up the road and come back and in the evening she tell me say she a go bake a cake mix she a go bake a cake mix and the two away in the kitchen that was the last time me talk to my granddaughter the grandfather said the elderly man express said Ferran was the stay at home type and had no idea someone would want to hurt her. As far as me know, Tia and no one don't in a any problem. She has been here with us. This is where she grow. Her boyfriend is a soldier, so sometimes she would be in Spanish town as well. She isn't the type who is going to be on the road. She is a good little girl, the grandfather said. So people, a whole heap of things are circulate about how this girl yeah, meet her demise. Me see one person I say she had an aunt who lost her life two years ago. She get caught up. See? And everybody tight lip and don't want to say nothing because it look like say the grandfather see the man who do the conning. Right? And them no one talk. You understand me I say? So it look like say is either some man go mash her works. And them can't talk because they them live and them no want no man come do them nothing. You see me I say cause so it going at the garrison you know, in the inner city in a pretty. You see me? So maybe a something like that go on. You know what I mean? But it's a puzzle. Iris a family them. She have a aunt. I think she live overseas. And she has speak out. She has said the thing looks spooky to her. You understand? Because nobody now to give her no information and one of the anti them will live at the yard. She a act a type of way when she a call her and I ask her for updates and them something there. You see it? So she want justice and she would like anybody with any information to speak out. You understand? So people, that's why you see when you are go overseas you know good for you tell a bag of people yeah man cause some people don't like that for you if I know them it happen to them no want to see nobody else you see me and some people when them are fly out and good things are going for them them diss the people them what they did a long time you know what I mean so this look like see somebody close to her do this to her Mood I said the boyfriend. You know what I mean? But me not like put blame on people where me not sure about. You understand? So me now go and say boy or the boyfriend, I'll do that me a pre. You know what I mean? Because me can they say me feel see the boyfriend when the boyfriend don't know nothing about it. You see it? If you not see something good on it best you just slow it, yeah, man. You see it? Because them say, here is a can go a coat. And me think so. Can go a coat neither. So just RIP to this girl, yeah. And condolences to her family. So moving along, people. 60 year old found DEAD at Pig Farm in Plant Station Heights, St. Andrew. A 60-year-old farmer was found DEAD at a pig farm on Everest Driving Plantation at St. Andrew on Sunday morning. 
police said the deceased is believed to be Lloyd Garnett, a pig farmer from Water Lane in Mandeville, Manchester. Reports are that the body of the now deceased was found around 8.30 am after residents reportedly heard loud explosions sounding and contacted the police. Upon arrival, the police found the body on a hillside near a pig farm lying face down with what appeared to be G-U-N-S-H-O-T wounds to the head. The body, police said, is of dark complexion, slim built, about 5 feet 6 inches tall and sports dreadlocks hairstyle. It was clad in a blue t-shirt, blue and yellow shorts and black and white slippers. A white Toyota station wagon motor car was found at the scene. Police believe it was owned by Garnet. A cell phone was also found on the scene with a copy of what is believed to be the DEAD man's driver's license. 60 year old man get caught up near beside a pig pen or his pig pen. Where him could I do so? 60 year old boy some man have no heart to you know people because some of the simplest thing man get dash way over you know you see me i don't know what go on here so but all me have to say r.i.p and condolences so guys give the video a like subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and leave your comment in the comment section so make sure you subscribe and click that top bell icon so you get notified whenever me go live or me post a video on the channel so bless upon yourself and thanks for watching